Hello and welcome back for part two, the sequel, the second continued to be continued part with the crystals. So Dollar Tree gave us two types of crystals. One is not crystals. This one is not crystals. This is Orbeez that are cubed. They absorb water. These are not crystals. These are squishy. They're garbage. They're not crystals. Dollar Tree lied. They are some nice colors, but they are not crystals. These, however, are crystals. This was the set that came with the rocks. This is the good set. So if you want to buy a crystal kit for your kid, especially if you live in Indiana and want to get started young, this is the one to show them. Okay? Now, of course, you can't smoke these. I don't know. Maybe you can. I don't know. Maybe it'll be some new thing. But whatever. These are not crystals. These are, these are water cubes, whatever. They absorb water. No, do not, do not buy them. They're, as I've said in other videos, they are awful. Garbage, Dollar Tree, garbage. Next up, we have a product that I've already opened. Because every kid needs to have whoopee cushions. And it came with two. I put, took it apart. I don't know what happened to the other one. But these are emoji whoopee cushions, okay? And of course, this is your standard whoopee cushion. And that's how they both sounded. <laughs> Sounds more like a badly running motorcycle than a whoopee cushion. These weren't funny when they came out, and they're not funny now. You can't hide them anywhere, especially a bright green one. What the hell? No. No, 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 no. Next we have a jar of ick. Now, I have to point out that not everything this week, I keep bumping the camera too, not everything this week came from Dollar Tree. I had to go to some other stores because I was running out of Dollar Tree torsos. Some of the stuff came from Target, some of the stuff came from Dollar Tree, and some of the stuff came from Dollar General. All cheap crap, but still. This jar of it costs more than a dollar, and you get some rubbery bugs. You get some eyeballs that will stick to your furniture, just like that. And you get some, uh, oh, that one's open and leaked already. And you get some slime. Oh, there's, look at that, there's slime in the, in the bottom. That's nice. But yeah, so you get a jar of ick. And I think this was like, whoa, whoa. Well, anyway, you can see what's in the jar of ick now. But anyway. Oh, look at that. It's rolling down the wall. Interesting. But yeah. Was it worth the $3 that I spent for it? Actually, I think it was 4 No, it wasn't worth the $4 I spent for it. It's a jar of ick. Nothing looks realistic. There's some slime in there. There's some sticky eyeballs. Most of this will end up chewed up by the dog or uh on your couch or on your carpet mainly on your carpet especially when you got people coming over so uh no to that one either this one it's a puzzle this puzzle was four dollars four freaking dollars for a puzzle what's so special about it it's frozen it's a whole bunch of pieces. Normally, I would pause the video and say, hey, we'll come back at another day. We'll come back in a moment. We'll do this, and I'm going to build a puzzle. I'm not building a frozen puzzle. You can do something with this once the puzzle's built. Um, if your kid's into puzzles, it'll be a good 20-minute project. If your kid's not into puzzles, you will be picking up pieces of this puzzle for the rest of your life. You will say, oh, there's that damn frozen puzzle again. Yep. Been there, done that. Yeah, so... uh you like puzzles, you can spend an extra amount of money on a frozen puzzle. Your kid will oh, I want frozen, I want, I want frozen. Yeah, well, tell them no. They don't need a puzzle. You can get them a nice, big, thousand-piece puzzle for the exact same price. No, not that one. Next up, we have Jokes and Gags. Swat Shot Fly Swatter Gun. Directions are on the back. I will tell you this. You will never, ever kill a fly with this ever it's just not gonna happen flies move too quickly they would see this giant thing coming at them and move that's why you can't swat a fly with your hand most of the time that's why you need this giant fly swatter that you move really quick but this this won't do it so you get a cheap plastic gun a really really uh sketchy spring there um, let's see, what's the other parts? Okay, you get this piece. So this fits on to here and latches like that. 
Did I really just break this thing? I mean, really? I. Wow. Yeah, I just made me try it again. Um, yeah, this thing's broken. I really just put this on there and it broke. Well, I think the obvious solution to that is don't buy this stupid thing. It broke. Was it worth the dollar? Was it worth the dollar? It wasn't even worth a dollar to me, and I'm making these videos over crappy dollar toys, and it wasn't worth a dollar to me. Wow. Okay, this is one that's fun for everybody. Not as much fun as you remember, though. Grow capsules. These are zoo animals. So I'm going to put these here, and these were fun when you were five. Absolutely. It was a really cool thing. I guess the biggest entertainment you could do now is put it in somebody's drink right in front of them where they can obviously say, oh, oh, just wait and see what happens. Oh, yes. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a bunch in there. These are zoo animals. So you can get a monkey, an ostrich, a wildebeest, a lion, a kudu, a rhino, a cheetah, a zebra, elephant, giraffe, hippo, anteater. So, yeah, these are fun. These are These are really badly packed ones. These aren't even good ones. I've seen... Wow. These are really... Wow. Okay. Well, we're going to let those go in the background. And let's see what else we've got to review at this moment. Okay. You remember my robot from the first video? That's Now, actually, it's an opening credits because I like the thing. Well, I really hated it because it was bad. They make a smaller version. X-Bots. Very, very similar. In fact, this thing's... Also has the same thing, snap apart. Not a feature. Not a feature. Now, here's another thing. Warning! Age 4 plus. Not for children under 3 years. So is between 3 and 4 some sort of gray area where your kid might be able to handle this? Who knows? Who knows? Snap apart, pose them. Yeah, they, they snap apart. Let's see. I'll bet that this is just a good quality as the first one I reviewed. And nothing's happening with the capsules, by the way. They're sticking together a little bit, but nothing. Anyway, back to the robot. All right, this one is... Wow, this is surprisingly heavy. This is made of a heavy plastic. That's surprisingly heavy. But it doesn't stick together very well. I mean, it's falling apart in my hands as we speak. And the face. we got to get detail on that face. Look at that. That amazing face. But this is really falling apart right in my hands. I'm... I'm impressed by the terribleness of it. Uh, uh, this didn't come from Dollar Tree. This came from Dollar General. So it's probably got about the same amount of plastic in it as the big one. It at least looks a bit better. It looks like, a little, it looks like an actual toy instead of something that your dog would chew on. Um, but yeah, it's, it's... This is not a feature. This is a defect. It should not come apart that easily. I mean, how can you have a conscience and sell something like this, even if it's for a dollar? You could have sold them something better. You could have made a robot that didn't fall to pieces and sold that for a dollar. And that'd be a much better toy for a child. Oh, we got one. We got one. What do we got? What do we got? This is a... Uh, uh, this is a rhino. Hey, I can identify one. And we got another one here. This is a... Uh, is that a... I guess that's a giraffe. Is that a giraffe? That's a sad giraffe. He's looking down. And the rest of these are going off. But these were these are fun when you're a very young child. Don't let your child eat them, but some of your parents out there won't listen to me on and I'll still eat them in emergency room trap because you're, you know, well... I won't get into how bad some parents are. We all know how bad some parents are What with what not in the news. This product, this next product, came from Target. This next product, I'm going to show you the side. It's slime. It's brown slime. It's got warnings, not for children under three. The children under three, they never get to play with anything. Uh, this is Grin Studios, blah, made in China. Warning, amazing putty may cause allergic reaction in hypersensitive persons. To what? Is it a gluten thing? or I mean, what is it? Caution prolonged between amazing putty and fabrics such as clothing, carpeting, and furniture may result in staining. Remove amazing putty from fabrics as soon as possible to avoid staining. Yeah, uh, if you give this to a kid, amazing slime emoji poo. So this is poop slime. Yeah, are you disgusted? 
I know I am. Poop slime. Yeah. Yeah, if your kid wants to play with poop slime, take them to a psychologist. Um, if your kid wants to pull poop slime out of a bottle like this, uh, take them today. Um, this stuff's not coming out. I mean, like, way not coming out. Are you disgusted? Oh yeah. Awful. Literally awful. Like the definition of what the original word awful was. O-F-F-A-L, not A-W-F-U-L. Yes, this is a... Don't buy this. Just don't. Don't. And see, here again, they're five plus on the front. Not for children under three years on the back. What is with these warnings and nothing being consistent anymore? What kid is it for? Is it three and four a gray area again? Uh, we don't know. Should we give it to four-year-olds or not? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Just, great. It's all over me now. This is, uh, <sighs> yeah, if your kid enjoys that, get them professional help. Just get them help. What else have we got here? We have an elephant. We have uh, another red thing hatching. Uh, those are fun for all a few minutes. Again, if your kid is tiny, small, uh, four plus, so it can't be, they can't be, you know, they can't be younger than four, although this thing, again, not for children under three years, but on the top, four plus. Get it right. Get it right. Yeah, just, I don't get it. And now we're coming up to the last item on parade. I'm getting, get the hell out of there. Ugh. Army Command Strike Team 2-Pack. This came from Dollar General. These amazing, smaller-than-G.I. Joe action figures. Okay, warning, choking hazard. Not for children under three years. Let's see. And then again, up here, age 4+. plus. I don't... Nothing on the back. Literally just a blank package on the back. That's, that's a sign of quality right there. When they print nothing on the back. All right, let's get these guys out of here. These amazing characters. Now, this man is... This man has bandages on his head that are green. or is No, that's some sort of helmet. I'm sorry. That's... God, it's The slime is all over everything. This is... Ugh. Is he painted all the way around? Oh, yep. Yep. He's, although he's been shot in the back of the head, but... Head's wobbly. Shouldn't be wobbly. Uh, oh, so let's see what this next guy in here looks like. This this next man has been some part of some sort of a heavy machinery accident. Get a look at that head. His head's been run over by a tractor or something. His face is all smushed. He's got black marks on his face from the tread. And look at that head. It's been smashed. I mean, that's I'm not sure that's a bandana. I think that might be a brain coming out. So again, you've been given, oh, look, I don't know if you can see that on the camera a little bit, maybe there is a uh, hole in the back of his head as well. High quality, the arm barely moves, uh, the head is, yeah, wobbly but strangely tight at the same time, but yeah, your kid will enjoy this three seconds, and then after that, this will happen. Same with all cheap figures, no force necessary. They just pop apart. And you'll be stepping on these pieces and wishing they were Legos. What do you say to this? What do you say? What I say is, I'm done reviewing cheap toys for now. They have run out of low quality. They're, they're getting now into stuff that's such low quality that I can't even review it with a straight face. So, for the next four episodes, and look at that, there's still more of that... Uh, Oh, God, that slime's just all over the place. So for the next four episodes, I'm going to be reviewing store brand food from Dollar Tree, from Dollar General, from all sorts of different stores. And I'm going to be telling you whether, you're, whether you should be staying away from it or whether it's good. But usually when it comes to cheap snacks, they're not very good. And some of them are downright nasty. So we're going to find out who does what, whatever it is. So hit the subscribe button. I need the I need the viewers, I need the followers, I ain't gonna lie. 
uh, let your friends know that I do these awful videos, and uh, you can suggest anything down, and you can put anything down in the uh, in the uh, comments section. I will review anything. I don't really care. Uh, I'm taking suggestions. I'm gonna do food next. Then maybe some cheap technology stuff. I don't know. But until next time, don't buy crappy toys for kids, and especially don't buy your kids poop toys. What's wrong with you?